Hello people, we are from Breaking Code and today we are here to teach you a coding problem. The name of the problem is Breaking the Magician's Code. This M represents Magician. So this is uh, so this is the problem from CodeChef.com. The link of the problem is in the description. So do read the problem and then only watch the video. So in this problem, uh, what 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 we have to do is there is a magician. Uh, he has a pack of ten cards like they are arranged in ascending order. The first card at the top is one, then it's two, then it's three. As up to ten. So uh, so what the magician asks us to do is throw the first card. Put the second card, the next card at the bottom of the deck. Then again throw a card, then put the next card at the bottom of the deck. And do so until we remain up to the last card. And then he just guesses that the last card is 4. Now how he does this thing, uh, that's what we have to find out. And just code if we are given n cards. My team just came up to me with this problem. Like whenever we type uh, the name of our channel that is Breaking Code uh, Code Chef on Google, uh, th this problem pops out. So so let's just solve this problem. Today morning I just looked into this problem and just got uh, cracked the logic. And I'm just gonna tell you that doesn't make any sense, but you know let's listen it. So what I just figured out is if we are given ten cards, one two three, four five six seven eight. 9, 10. So what we'll do is throw the first card, put the second card at the bottom of the deck, third, fourth card at the bottom of the deck, throw the fifth card, then sixth card at the bottom of the deck. So after doing such, what we'll get is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And just mind that uh, we are putting the 10 card and uh, we are throwing the 9th card and putting the 10th card at the bottom of the deck. So next what we have to do is uh, throw away the next card. That, so the next card which pops out is 2. So we have to throw 2 and keep 4 at the bottom of the deck throw 6 keep 8 at the bottom of the deck throw this card 10 so we just threw this card 10 and uh, what we have to do is put the next card at the bottom of the deck so keep 4 at the bottom of the deck and throw away 8 so so what logic I just cracked out is uh, initially there were all the cards and then there were only even cards that is multiples of 2 then there were multiples of 4 and uh, at the end uh, something happened so I just uh, thought out, uh, figured out that there is something to do with the uh, powers of 2 that is 2, 4, 8, 16. So I just noted down these numbers and let me tell you what my logic for this sum is. So the logic of this sum is there can be two cases if the n is power of 2. That is if n is equal to 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. If it's a power of 2 then we have to print n as it is. Like if there are 8 cards the answer is surely gonna be 8. If there are 16 cards the answer is surely gonna be 16. And if n is not a power of 2. Then what we do is just find the difference between the near, uh, the power of 2 which is less than it like let's take an example if the number is 10 then what we do is uh, the power of 2 which is less than 10 and nearest to it is 8 so what we do is find the difference 10 minus 8 that is equal to 2 and just multiply this difference uh, multiply this uh, difference by 2 and we get 4 and this is the answer for this uh, problem so only two cases we have now don't ask me how this logic came into my mind it just popped out uh, okay i'm gonna tell you how it came into my mind so now let's uh, let's uh, take another example take seven cards now what is the power of two which is less than seven that is four so take a difference that is three and then multiply it by two then we get six so six remains at the end uh, and which is uh, pretty much the right because if we take seven cards one two three four five six seven you just throw the first card Second card goes at the bottom of the deck, throw the third card, fourth comes here, fifth card we throw, six comes here, seventh card we throw. So next card goes at the bottom of the deck, four we throw, six goes at the bottom of the deck, then two we throw, and the final answer is six, which we just figured out. So let's come back and let's uh, tell you what the uh, how I got into that logic. So I just wrote down all the possibilities like if we take two cards the answer is gonna be two. If we get, uh, take three cards the answer is gonna be two again and so on.
so these are the uh, numbers which i just wrote down so what i just found out the logic is if we take two cards the answer will be two which is of course i told you that it's a power of two if we get four cards the answer is going to be four eight answer is going to be eight sixteen the answer is going to be sixteen again so uh, that how i just figured out the first part and what about the second part is i just noted out a sequence like if we get a power of two then we just reset and write all the even numbers again like two four six eight 8 is a power of 2, then again reset and start from 2, then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and then 16. And uh, after 16, the uh, sequence continues like 2, 4, 6, 8, and it goes up to 32. At 32, which is a power of 2, then again it breaks and again it starts from 2, 4, 6, 8, and goes up to 64. And this is how I figured out what the uh, logic of the sum will be. So, what we have to do is just find n, you just get the n from the user, and what we have to do is just uh, find the difference from n and its nearest power of 2 which is less than n of course and the difference which we get we just have to multiply the difference by 2 and what we get is the answer of this sum this marker is just <laughs> diluting a little bit so this is what the logic of this sum was uh, breaking the magician score what we have to do is take n from the user uh, find the nearest power of 2 which is less than n and just take out the difference multiply the difference by 2 uh, and uh, th that's what the answer is this is the case if our n is not a power of 2 and if our n is a power of 2 then just print n as it is as we can see if the number is 8 our answer is 8 if the number is 16 our answer is 16 if the number is 4 our answer will be 4 so this is what the logic of this sum is so what's the purpose of teaching this sum is i just wanted to let you guys know that always just don't think that deeply and uh, just think about the logic like how this is happening i just figured out the sequence what's happening and just found out a logic for it so that's what the thing is you just keep uh, generating more and more test cases and try to find some logic between the test cases and this will get you to the code and the algorithm of this sum so this is uh, i know that there will be various uh, uh, methods to solve the sums like uh, we can take an array and uh, store the numbers in the array uh, like n numbers in the array then we can uh, delete this first number and then second number shift it here or there can be various logics uh, such as this uh, we can use various things but this is a logic which i figured out uh, just finding the sequence between the numbers so so thanks th so this is what you have to do and just find the uh, logic and the sequence uh, or a pattern between the test cases and break the code uh, so Thanks guys for watching the video. Uh, this was pretty much weird some uh, weird logic which I cracked. So thanks guys for watching this video. This was a little weird some. The logic was weird. So we'll be making more videos and uh, the next videos is gonna be a little bit more complicated. Like we'll be getting into sections such as graphs and dynamic programming. Uh, so so thanks guys. Uh, do like the video and do subscribe to our channel. Uh, thanks for your support. Goodbye.